Nicole, and this is my video for class EDU 330, Social Justice for Educators for Grand Canyon University. The assignment is to talk about what social justice means in education means to me. I think social justice in education is very important. It is a way to serve our students in with diversity and equality across the board. These days, there are so many different diverse needs of students, whether that be through culture, through ability, and much, much more. And it's our job to see that those needs are met. The article dynamics in diagnosing the quality of a good teacher says that teaching is a noble profession. I would have to say this is pretty obvious. Teachers are noble creatures. We want to help by nature. We want to make everything great for everyone and make an environment where every kid has the ability and the, the right to learn. We want to make sure that kids have a fun, dynamic, diverse, enriched education. The article goes on to say that love for children and the profession, as well as patience, are also part of the qualities that make up a good teacher. And this is totally true, but there's more to it than that. Because again, there's so much more that today's teacher has to focus on and incorporating social justice into the classroom ensures that diversity is embraced instead of something to be afraid of. Children should walk into the classroom and know that it is a judge-free, safe zone. They should know that they are loved and accepted no matter what their background is and where they came from. I believe that the connection between my Christian worldview and belief in social justice play a big part in the way that I will be an educator in my classroom. Christian believes that all people are created equal. Everyone deserves love, forgiveness, and acceptance. Every life is cherished. And that is a big part of teaching. That's, you know, love for your students and love for the learning process. It's all relative. It's all part of everything. There are a few verses in the Bible that really, I feel like, stand for what I believe in the teaching process. The first one is Proverbs 22, 6. It says, start children off on the way they should go. And even when they are old, they will not turn from it. And this is so true. Teachers set forth the building blocks and the foundations for these kids to go forth and conquer in the world. They are our future, but if they're not taught the basics in the beginning by the teachers and of course their families, they, they, have, they don't have any direction. So it's up to us to set forth that precedent for them. In Matthew 7, 12, in everything, therefore, treat people the same way you want them to treat you, for this is the law and the prophets. This is kind of goes back to that old golden rule. Treat people how you want to be treated. And this is so important because sometimes this is lost in the classroom. We need to treat people exactly the way that we want to be treated. Getting back to the basics of kindness and good-natured relations and communication is huge. Kids need to learn how to communicate with each other effectively and need to learn to embrace the differences that the diverse classroom has to offer and realize that they can treat people with respect and kindness just as they in turn hope that their peers will do to them. I myself am a blind woman this kind of adds me to a minority group, the ability group. My disability will offer me the ability to teach the children that different is okay. Disability is okay. Disability doesn't mean broken. It's all another way of teaching social justice in the classroom. It teaches them that people who are disabled are capable of everything that their able-bodied counterparts are capable of. It teaches them to reach for the stars and to not get stopped by barriers and to realize that the sky is the limit and it doesn't matter what obstacles are holding you back, there is a way to overcome it if you just learn to work around it. Above all else, it's going to be my job to have a commitment to the students and my families. I need to make sure that I can communicate effectively, that I can respect them and their beliefs, and that I can accommodate those situations the best way that I know how.
For instance, if I have somebody who does not speak English, I will do my best to translate my correspondence in their preferred language. If a student needs extra help because they have a learning disability, I will make accommodations to make the material accessible to them. These are all things that I will strive to do. The model code of ethics for educator says that the professional educator acts in the best interest of all students by providing a quality and equitable educational experience by protecting students from any practice that harms them or has the potential to harm students. Respecting students by taking into account their age, gender, culture, setting, and socioeconomic context. Communicating with students in a clear, respectful, and culturally sensitive manner. Advocating for equitable educational opportunities for all students. These things are all so important and they are all a huge part of social justice. It's woven all through the code of ethics. We have to do these things to make sure our students have an appropriate and amazing education. To further commit to my students and their families, I will do as the code of ethics says and reflect and assess one's professional skills, content knowledge and competency on an ongoing basis and also to commit to an ongoing professional learning to make sure that I'm always abreast of all of the new information that is out there to best suit my students and their families' needs. It is my promise to my students that I don't know everything. I'm going to mess up probably often, but even still, I am going to be the best teacher that I know how to be. And to all of my future students, I already love you. And I know that together, we are going to embrace diversity and we are going to smile at all the differences in the classroom and we are going to learn to embrace one another as one big happy family. Thank you.